This is Todd Lewis with Open Source 101 and All Things Open. What I want to do is take you through a real quick tour of the Hopin platform. Uh, that will be the host platform for the event, for the Open Source 101 event next Tuesday, May the 12th. So I want to take just a few minutes and show you what that experience will be like before next week. So um, if you've registered, uh, we're using Eventbrite as our third-party registration platform. Uh, those of you watching this have probably already registered using Eventbrite, but for those of you that have not, when you do, you will initially register in the Eventbrite system. Uh, and then once you do, we will import your information into Hopin, which again is the conference platform, and you will then receive an email from Hopin. So that's what you're looking at here on the screen. That is the email that I received from Hopin, and you will receive one just like this in your inbox, and you will click on Go to the Event. And your interface is going to look a little bit different than mine. I'm an organizer, as you can see. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to click on Preview for Organizers Only. And that is going to take me to another screen. And you can see that the event is starting. We're now four days and 20 hours away, so just under five days away. So I'm going to click on Preview the Event. And again, this is what you'll see when you... Um, come into the Hopin system next Tuesday. So um, you will be taken to, this is called the reception area, and uh, it'll look a little bit different the day of, but pretty much like this. You'll see a hero image, a hero banner for Open Source 101 at the top of the screen. Uh, you will see a description. Uh, day of, there'll also be a box here showing you what's live. So there'll be a live now box um, showing you exactly what's going on that happens to be live at the moment, whether they be keynotes or breakout sessions, whatever that might be, you'll always know what's going on and be able to kind of click over to it and connect to it directly. That's not uh, on the screen right now, obviously, because nothing is live. It won't be until next week, but you'll see that certainly next week. Uh, you'll be able to see sponsors here in the reception area and a schedule also. You'll notice over here on the right side, there's a universal chat stream, and that uh, is where you can communicate uh, with people. You can um, uh, actually post questions to speakers and to organizers and things like that via chat throughout the day. So um, will all of the organizers will you know be identified with a blue organizer title label and feel free to contact us and reach out to us at any time with questions. We're also going to be conducting polls during the day. There aren't any polls live yet, but there will be. And then you'll always be able to see during the event uh, everyone that's participating. Right now, that's just speakers and organizers. But the day of, there will be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people there uh, that will be on the platform attending the event and participating. You can connect or at least attempt to connect directly uh, with someone that you see. Uh, they may not accept the invitation or the connection, but you can certainly try uh, to reach out to someone if you'd like to connect with them directly. Uh, over here, uh, the second module down on your left-hand side is called Stage, and that is where we will uh, show keynotes. That's where keynotes and some of the um, kind of the warm-up uh, content will be delivered on the main stage. So that, of course, will start at 11.45 next Tuesday, 11.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and then keynotes will begin at 12 noon Eastern time. So depending on where you are in the world, that might be a little bit different, but again, keynotes, um, keynote content will begin at 12 noon and on the stage or in the stage section of the site is where that'll actually happen. Again, the chat stream will still be visible. We'll still be conducting some polling and you'll be able to see who's participating and who's attending the event. Sessions module, once the breakout sessions start, that is where, and this is where, you can access those sessions. Uh, you'll be able to see who the speaker is, what the topic is, what a little bit of, of the abstract, and then you'll also be able to see who's making that possible. We have sponsors of each uh, of the tracks and even of some individual sessions during the conference next week. So you'll get all of that information here. Uh, you'll be able to click on a session. I'm just going to use this one as an example. And then you'll be taken to the internal page uh, for that sp session. So this is where the speaker will speak from. Slides, uh, video of them speaking will be displayed right here. And then you'll know the chat function will be specific to that session. So uh, you can pose questions, engage in Q&A with the speaker and things like that there. Uh, and again, you'll be able to see who's participating here. And you'll also uh, be able to filter uh, people. And if you want to, you can filter by organizer, speaker, or just your connections, people that you communicate with throughout the day. Uh, the next module down is networking. This is a very cool feature. Uh, this attempts to replicate sort of the random interaction aspect of an in-person event. So if you want to randomly be introduced to someone that's also attending the conference, you can click on ready. 
and the system, their algorithm, will connect you. And then you have one, two, three minutes or so to communicate with them. You could choose to communicate further, kind of offline, uh, if you like, but the system itself will make that initial connection for you. Final module over here on the left is the Expo. Uh, module or the expo area um, of the platform and you will see uh, some of our sponsors and let's just use uh, Red Hat as an example and uh, this is what a booth will look like and in this screen uh, this will be either a video uh, kind of promotional videos that are telling you more about the company and what they're engaged in maybe an open source or a different aspect of the company uh, and then people will also be delivering live demos and live presentations and networking here also so our sponsors and our partners they have the option to be live or to do something recorded and most of them are doing a combination of the two throughout the day so it's a really good place to engage with our sponsors and our partners live you'll see descriptions of the company over here if you want to communicate with them directly via chat Chat, you can certainly do that or if you want to just passively kind of register interest you can let them know that you're interested in getting more information and they can follow up with you uh, that will uh, basically uh, provide or forward your email address a contact email address to the sponsor uh, and to our partner those you know that have the booth and they will they can then respond to you post event or even during the event if you uh, would like for them to handle it in that way but anyway that's the platform so again the reception area is when where you'll be taken to begin with as you enter the event and then the main stage once keynotes start we'll have programming on this stage from um, 11 11 45 all the way up to about 12 45 or 1 sessions begin at one o'clock and they'll go through the afternoon until five or so if you want to network with people you can certainly do that here and be introduced to other people that are attending and then the expo function or feature and then this is where you can interact and engage with our partners and sponsors very very cool okay so uh, that's a really quick tour hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions pose those to us reach out to us with those at info at allthingsopen.org and we look forward to seeing you next tuesday